Alright guys, so this is video number two, and yes, we are filming on the same day. We're gonna probably film most of these in the exact same clothes because I gotta make as much time, or gotta make as <laughs> use of as much time as possible while she's in town. I might have changed clothes just so you wouldn't think I was a dirty person, and but it's probably filmed on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Okay. Um. So okay, this next one is um. I put in one of my videos in my like last giveaway video to leave a thumbs up if you liked the idea of doing trivia giveaways for Harry Potter related things since we're both such nerds. I figured since she was here it was a great time to do another one. Harry Potter stuff. And so we're going to do a trivia for um, a copy of The Tales of Beetle the Bard and I will insert a picture right here so that you can see it and so this is the copy that you'll be getting. It is a hardback that's all the tales from um, The Tales of Beetle the Bard obviously. The Three Brothers, the Babbity Rabbity, it has... And the Cackling Stone, yeah, the so Harry Heart, that one. So it's gonna have all of those and um, that's what you can win. So we have a list of questions and these are fairly hard um, because the last one seemed to be so easy and so we're gonna read the questions and then at the end I'll tell you the rules to how to win so we're gonna go back and forth with them and you can start since she came up with all these questions. Yeah. So if you don't like them, it's <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are kind of similar, but, um, so first is name all three of the Peverell brothers, which, of course, don't oh, just kidding. Oh, no, right. they need to know this. Just kidding. We're not giving you hints. <laughs> um, the second question, and Dobby, Dobby's gonna help us here, um, the second question is, name the four breeds of dragons that the champions choose from during the Triwizard Tournament which is a great one. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you a bonus point. I'll throw in something extra if you tell me the order in which they're chosen and which person chooses them. Whoa. That's cool. I'll, th I'll throw in something yeah, extra yeah. for you guys. I remembered, the, I remembered that one. Um, this one's probably my favorite. Explain the difference between an Anamorphmagus and an Animagus. There is there, a difference, guys. There is a difference, yes. They're not the uh -huh. same thing. No, they sound the same. And then number four is what... Oh, no, we actually changed this question. So we want to, to give us the name of the proprietor of... The Hogshead, the Three Broomsticks, and the Leaky Cauldron. All three. All three. It's a tough one. It is a, no, it's kind of easy. Okay. Again, um, you have to have read the books. I'm assuming true. you've read the books if you're trying to do this. Some of these you can get from the If you're Wikipedia-ing these answers, shame on you. <laughs> shame on you. <laughs> um, what? Oh. I just totally scared off all my subscribers. Oh my <laughs> Wikipedia is the way to go. What is the name of the witch who kept introducing herself to Harry when he first went into Leaky Cauldron with Hagrid? So this is book one. Yeah, I guess you kind of need to give that one. And then, what is the sequence of bricks to tap in order to get into Diagon Alley? That is also in book one. It's very vague, so, I mean, obviously you don't have to tell me exactly, but right. just give me the description in the book. I'll give you a, kind of a hint. Ah! Just touch it, yeah. Oh. We met the iPad. <laughs> Um, how much money did the Weasleys win, um, in the second book when they what was it the second? Third? Just kidding. Um, when they went to go to the trip to, uh, Egypt. So they won a contest and they won a certain amount of money. And yeah, because that's the one in which Sirius sees the picture of Peter Pettigrew yes. in the newspaper when they're in Egypt. Um, a wealth of useless Potter trivia. <laughs> um, what is Hermione's cat's name? And there's always going to be a Hermione question in there because she is Hermione. I think there's a couple Hermione questions yeah, in here, are. <laughs> but that's the easy one. That's the that's the. If you don't know this one, then you've not even there's watched the movies. kindly leave. <laughs> but kindly, basically, just pause and no. <laughs> um, this is my favorite question, I guess, just because it's Hermione. Why was Hermione's middle name changed from Jane to Jean? Now I I mentioned this because we went to a movie premiere. And the people who were asking the trivia questions didn't know Harry Potter. So, like, they were messing up some of the questions. Like, they messed up the Hogwarts house uh, mascots. And Billy and I were like, no! And she were like, I had the my nook there with me. Furious. So I told, I was like screaming from my furious. seat. It is not a lion! It is, or not, damn. It, well, some kids said Griffin. Griffin. Some That's what it was. Griffin. I was like, it's not a Griffin. And then so finally they were like, okay, it's not a Griffin. And then somebody said it was a lion, but then they said it was a raven. And I was yeah. like, no, oh. it's not. It's a bronze eagle. I am a Ravenclaw. I've been a Ravenclaw since book one. That's true. So we were pretty pissed. <sighs> but I always thought, I'm like, it's not a lion. I'm like, it is a lion. But then they asked the this question. I they asked like, what's the wrong answer. Her, <laughs> it's, it's just an instinct. <laughs> so then they asked what's Hermione's middle name. And someone said the correct name now. And the people who were running it were like, no, it's not it. And so then the second person said the first name. And so I, I got pissed for that person because the second person was right, or the first person was right, but they just, since they didn't know Potter, they didn't understand there was a changeover. Yes. So, um, okay. Um, what are the full birthdays, day, month, and year of Harry, Ron, and Hermione? Yeah. We know these off the top of our heads. So, yeah, because the year is important. That's an it's important not, 
Yeah. Anyway, it's not when the yes. books are published, but when the books take place. Correct. That's a hint. Um, do I say both of them? Or just... Just the first. Okay. Who did Luna end up marrying? So this is one that if you just watch the movies, you're going to get all kinds of wrong. Um, <laughs> and it's, I think it's only even mentioned on, like, the wikia. Yeah. I don't even think it's in the book. So I give it's, you permission to look in the yeah. Potter wikia for that one. It's a really, like... But I did know that from reading, like, a J.K. Rowling interview. It's a really, Sad. really esoteric, like, Harry Potter. Like, only hardcore fans, I think, even know that Luna got married. <laughs> and they have two children. I'll give you another bonus if you can give me the two kids. <laughs> so There's going to be all kinds of course, bonuses in this. The Luna question. <laughs> I love Luna. <laughs> I'm going to uh, totally forget how many bonus points I'm putting in this because I'm making this up as I go along. Um, what was the date of the final battle at Hogwarts? Also day, month, year. Day, month, year. Because that, I think, also explains a lot of things. About I don't it. know if you can really say day. Give us yeah. month, year. Is there a day? Yeah. Okay. Well, then, there we go. Day, month, year. There's a day. I'm, st- I'm making you say day because there's okay. a day. I just didn't know off the top of my head. Um, That's name the four different headmasters of Hogwarts that have been in the series. That's not the, the founders of the houses. That's like the principles in our American equivalent. So there's one that you don't see specific. Oh, just kidding. There's four mentioned in the books. Just say four are mentioned in the books. That's a little sneaky one. And then this is. Oh no! Name the four different ministers of magic that have reigned during the series. Again, there are four that are mentioned. So give us the four. Yep. Throughout the series. Throughout the entire seven book series. Um, and then I'll let you announce this one. Freebie. No, this one's not a trivia question. It's mostly like an opinion question, mm-hmm. just because I like opening discussion and dialogue about Potter she's in all major. ways, shapes, and forms. <laughs> so, um, and it's usually my litmus test of whether or not you're a good person. Like, oh, you love <laughs> Potter. We should be friends. Um, so I wanted to just kind of throw the question out that if you could have any one of the Deathly Hallows, which would you pick and why? Because I think probably one of my favorite scenes in the seventh book is when Harry, Ron, and Hermione each say a different one, because I totally understood their reasoning for each of them. Um, and so I, I just find it interesting how people's experiences kind of lend into which one they pick and... So that would be cool. So, yeah. So, that's, that's going to be another bonus. So, I guess there's three bonuses in this one. <laughs> so, you do have to answer all of the questions. Um a it, lot. The last one, which is the Deathly Hallows, which one and why would you pick? Um, that is a bonus. Or you'll right. get something Potter-related if you throw it in there. If you don't want to answer it, no big deal. It's not like you're not going to get it. And then, again, the other ones that I said were... Um, Luna's the, Kids. The uh, Luna's Kids. And, um, yeah, that was Luna's Kids. And then the with the four breeds of dragons that you have to list, oh. you need to tell me what order they're chosen and who picks what. All of these questions will be listed down below, so don't feel like you have to write this out as we're doing this video. Um, and then as far as my rules, the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to leave this open for... I don't know what day this is actually going to get posted because I'm going to kind of like intermittently put these up between like other videos I'm doing. Um, so I don't know what day this is going up. I will leave this open for a full week through a Friday. So if this goes up on like a Monday, it will go up for like that Friday 11 days. And then a week. Yeah. yeah. So, but if it goes up on like a Friday, then it'll be up for seven days. So it's okay. going to be a full week and then until the next Friday. So okay. you might wind up with extra days, you might not. Once I find, figure out what date I'm actually loading this, I'll put in the bottom bar again when it's going to end. Okay, so you got to send these to me in a private message. Again, I don't need, like, uh, a paragraph sent as comments, yeah. please. Okay. Um, so send it to me in a private message and put the topic as Tales of Beetle the Bard Trivia Giveaway. Tales of Beetle the Bard Trivia Giveaway so that I know what it's relating back to. Um, I was going to do, like, the first ten people, but I'm just going to leave it open for that time frame. Whoever gets them in and gets all of the correct answers for the ones that are required, your name will go into a drawing, and then on that Friday that I finally do the drawing, um, probably within a few days of that, I'll announce who my winner is. And the the if you do choose to do the bonus questions, then those will just be surprise things that wind up in your box, because I honestly don't even know. I just totally made up right now that I'm going to do that. So <laughs> I don't even know what they're going to be at this point in time. They could be something awesome. They could be just something that I think is really cool and you think is retarded. Um, but really, I think if anyone... <laughs> For anyone who gets all the questions right, you're already a winner yes. in my eyes. For cause... sure. I was so happy with you guys. <laughs> I honestly, when I put, like, the win a bottle of pumpkin juice and I said, you know, the first person to send me the correct answers, it's because I honestly thought I was going to be waiting, like, two years for answers because I did not think anybody was going to do it, and I had answers within, like, an hour. So... You guys are awesome. You guys are great, and I love that you guys are such big Potter Our fans, hands. too. What is my cat doing? He's no, still floating around no here from knows. my last video. No one keeps And uh, he's going to try to kill your phone. Okay, so... Now now that this is a bunch of talking again, um... You keep talking, I will save it. <laughs> I 
cosmetics. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave us a comment below. Tell us um, future Potter giveaways, trivia giveaways that you would like to see, or even not Potter related. If you'd like to see other types of giveaways, let me know. I'm definitely up for doing Potter giveaways, um, but I love the idea of trivia giveaways. They're so much okay. fun to me. So yeah. if you have other ideas, let me know, and I'll consider those also. But we will see you guys later. Bye.